Now, though, Professor Regan gets to the bottom of some kiddie claims. What if just listening to Mozart could make you more intelligent? Apparently, it could. It's called the Mozart effect. I've typed in Mozart effect into the Google search engine, and I've got 364,000 hits. So can music act on the brain to increase mental performance? Neuroscientist Dr. Jessica Grahn at Cambridge University has studied the brains of hundreds of people while they listen to music. So just do a metal check, now you've got nothing left. In order to see if music changes the brain, Dr. Grahn is going to travel inside the mind of Professor Leslie Regan. So we'll talk to you through the head phase in just a second, OK? While Professor Regan is in the scanner, Dr. Gran will play her some music and observe how her brain responds. So the green is the areas responsive to music listening, and what we see is a very strong response in the auditory cortex, right by the ears, and that's responding to the complex sounds that are coming in. OK, all done. Steve's going to come get you out now. Professor Regan's brain does respond to the music, but is it making her more intelligent? Well, the only studies that have been done on this have shown a small effect that's temporary. And this effect has been shown to be due to not the music specifically, but the fact that when we listen to music, it makes us generally feel a bit happier and makes us feel a bit more alert. So, so it's a mood enhancer, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. So actually having a cup of coffee will produce the same sort of effects. You said temporary. Mm. But how temporary is temporary? Is it 15 minutes or is it just the duration of the listening or is it a year or what? It's about 15 minutes. Most of the studies don't show any effect that persists beyond that time frame. It doesn't have to be specific types of music, as long as it's music that's engaging and that you enjoy. So Professor Regan's passion for Mozart, or even Blur, isn't going to make her any more intelligent. But there are some people whose brains really have been altered purely by the power of music. <laughs> Carolyn Whiting has been playing the violin for 20 years. She started learning at the tender age of four. Dr. Grant thinks she can prove her brain is very different to Professor Regan's. OK, so in your scan, we saw lots of the same activity on both sides of the brain. But what I think I'm seeing hints of here that I didn't see in your scan are motor areas. So that green blob. Now, we didn't see that in your scan. And that's an area that's known to be active when you're imagining playing music. Um, so I'm physically thinking to myself that I'm doing it. Exactly. She might be in Carnegie Hall, for all we know. So musicians' brains are different. Other controlled studies have shown that children who play music have a slightly higher IQ. But over the past 15 years, there have been a growing number of CDs and books which state that just listening to Mozart can make you smarter. So listening to Mozart to improve mental performance doesn't make it in. There is evidence that playing a musical instrument does increase IQ by a few points, so music lessons will be available in her nursery.